Hi guys, bonjour les amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. Whoop. What a classic. I've had this for over 20 years. I can't even tell you. I think I bought it at a yard sale. I remember Sam was little. Anyways, I'm gonna do a recipe out of this. I've got a, a spaghetti squash to do something with it. I looked in there, they got one, a, a really nice recipe, really simple. So we're gonna go from there. You guys ready? Let's go, chin chin. All right, you guys, let's get this show in the road. There's my uh, spaghetti squash. Now you're gonna cut it the long way, okay? Not in the center like this, not like this, but the long way, okay? So I'm gonna put a little clip here of me doing that. All right, so here it is, page 412. I will type it down below for you guys. This is what I do. Um, so it's one spaghetti squash. And then we're gonna cut that up. I'm gonna cook that in the air fryer first and then I'll get the other stuff ready. So let me do that, take the seeds out, and we'll go from there. So I'm using the Rapid Crisp Air Fryer by DeLonghi, and the beauty of it is it has a bottom burner. But it's okay if you don't have a bottom burner. Just cook it as is. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It probably will take about five minutes longer, but that's okay. All right, so I uh, had a hard time slicing it up because one's uh, thicker than the other one. It's not a problem. See that? Look at that. And we're going to fit them both in there. See that? But let's spray it with some olive oil and cook it face down, okay? Okay, the cookbook tells you how to cook it in the oven, but I've done this in the air fryer quite a few times, so it's gonna be about 20 minutes or so. But on this air fryer, um, the settings is down below if you wanna know what the temperatures mean to these numbers. Let's go to manual, all right. Number three is good, turn that bottom burner on again. 30 minutes is too long, but I'm gonna put 25. And just, uh, I'll think that, that'll be good. That'll be, that. I'm sure that's gonna be good. But anyways, um, if you have just a regular air fryer without the bottom burner, do it at 25, check to see if you can scrape the, the squash. And then uh, if not, do it for five minutes longer. All right, so let's go. And I'm gonna prep the other stuff. All right, you guys, we're almost at the end. I'm gonna call that done. I can see um, it's shrunk down a little bit. So, even if you don't have a bottom burner, cook it with the shell up, okay? So that way it protects the meat inside the squash, okay? So that's the number one key. So I'm gonna take this out and then we'll go to the next step. Ooh, just to show you, look how beautiful that is. Beautiful, every time. Spaghetti squash in the air fryer, you guys, has never been so easy. All right, so let's go. Cook onion, green pepper, and garlic in oil in three-quarter sauc saucepan over medium heat about five minutes. I'm gonna type this all below you guys because this is oven stove top or whatever recipe. Uh, stirring occasionally, blah, blah, stir, blah, blah. Okay, so it's two tablespoons of olive oil. Half an onion diced up. And it says uh, green pepper. I have um, a Cubanel pepper. They're just cheaper and they're, you know, they're good. You get them at Walmart, you get a whole bag of them for like three bucks. I think it's worth it. And they're really good. Like I made, I make all kinds of stuff with that. All right, so it says uh, green onion. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Hang on, sorry guys. Sir, onions. Did it say just the onions? Oh well, you're not supposed to put the peppers in there. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to cook this till you can see through the onions. Even if you screw up on a recipe, which I hardly, I don't like recipes, but I do this for this. Kind of do my own thing here, you know. Anyways, we're going to do this for a couple minutes just so the onions you can see right through, okay? And you know what? We're going to leave the temperatures number three, bottom on. I'm going to tack on uh, four minutes on that. All right, we'll be back. You guys, as a matter of fact, it does say green, uh, the green pepper and the garlic. And the garlic was two, uh, one large clove, but we love garlic so much that I did too. So I just reread it. I was like, I lost my, my uh, place on the page there. Okay, green pepper, garlic, and oil, uh, five minutes. So let me tack on another minute. All right, 
Just trying to follow the directions. We'll be back. Guys, we're almost at the end. Beautiful. I just stirred it once. Okay, again, I'm not using my air fryer with a paddle. It would have been easier, but I'm trying to show that you don't need that. It's nice to have, though. But this is their latest air fryer, so we're going to use that one. All right. So tomatoes, I had regular large beefsteak tomatoes. I had three of those, so they say four cups of tomatoes. And I just cubed them up. No, oh, come on, that's so nice, isn't it? Um, half a teaspoon of salt. A quarter teaspoon of dried oregano leaves. And it says a quarter teaspoon of dried basil leaves, which I'm using my basil. It's very, very potent and lovely. And uh, this is fennel seeds, a quarter teaspoon, so all that's the same measurements. I don't cook a lot with fennel, which I, I really love the smell of it, but I always forget that spice, you know? And it says an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. That's up to you, really. We like things a little spicier, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this a little bit more. All right. Fennel and pepper. Simmer uncovered. Stirring occasionally for five minutes. I'm just mixing all the spices in there. It's beautiful, eh? <gasps> All bad, so we're kind of making a homemade little sauce here. All right, so it says five minutes. I'm gonna do five minutes. Don't change the temperature, leave everything as it is. All right, hopefully you can hear me with the air fryer going. So this is really still hot, okay? So it says to that, add two tablespoons of butter. So I'm gonna put a, the butter in a bowl. And this is how you take spaghetti squash apart. They say two forks, you can do that. Uh, just crisscross like this and just peel right where the shell is. Okay, we're gonna use this as a boat, so don't poke through the, uh, the skin. It's pretty tough, it's pretty hard to do. But anyways, I'm gonna do shred that, put that in a bowl with the butter, mix it up, okay? We'll be back. All right, it's mixed in with the butter, and then it says a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese right here. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. See that? Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So easy to do spaghetti squash in here for. So that's almost done. I got about 45 seconds, and then we'll plate it. All right, you guys. You're going to hear some beeping. That's okay. Excuse me. So I'm going to do one and taste it for you. This is what they tell you to do. I'm doing everything in front of you. So you put some of this in there. Oh, that Parmesan melted throughout the whole thing. Ho -ho. Then we'll leave enough for the other boat. That. That's enough for the other boat. And then you scoop some of this beautiful stuff. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh yes. On top. Stop it. This is so good. A lot of tomatoes. Yes, I love it. Ooh, girlfriend. I'm going to plate. Well, I'm going to take pictures and taste it. It's so hot right now. Isn't that gorgeous? Woo! We'll be back. Hey, right, you guys. Turn any recipe into an air fryer recipe. That's why they call me the air fryer queen, because I'll try it all. I don't care. I'm not scared. There we go. There's a lot of, uh, not a lot, there's a lot of tomato stuff left. But you know what I'm going to do with that? I'm going to serve that over omelets on Sunday. Yes, because that's what I do. This is super hot. I'm taking one for the team. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Those tomatoes are like whew, clouds. There's no... Holy cow, that's good. That is very simple and delicious. Don't omit the fennel, because I can taste it in there. Holy cow, that's good. There's no meat. I don't miss the meat, you know what I'm saying? You could add meat if you want to. 
some ground beef or sausage like sausage yeah that'd be good cook sausage in there yeah you guys this is freaking delicious I'm telling you I'm gonna be going through some recipe books why not you know I don't sleep because I'm thinking of all kinds of recipes this gives me a break because somebody else is thinking it for me but I'll transform it into air fryer instructions not everything needs to be cooked on full blast in an air fryer, okay? You can manipulate the heat a little bit. You see it browns up too fast. You lower the heat, extend the time. Not a big deal. Invest in a meat thermometer if you're cooking meat. That's very important. You guys, I'm going to give this a freaking holy cow. It's a very nice recipe. I'd give it a five. Five out of five. It's a very nice, very nice way to have spaghetti squash. And tomatoes, all that stuff grows at the same time. So it's beautiful. All right, guys. Thanks for shopping. Bye-bye.